Konami Social Media Manager Peter Howell here with assistant producer Sean I. Stone of Kojima Productions getting ready to show off the HD version of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, part of the forthcoming Metal Gear Solid HD collection for 360 and PS3. Sean, how you doing? Great. Uh, yeah, we're here today to show you the 360 version of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which is part of the HD remaster collection uh, that we're coming out with, which will also include Metal Gear Solid 2, as well as Metal Gear Solid 3 and Peace Walker. Uh, today we're just going to show you Peace Walker, hopefully point out some things that are different, some things that are familiar, uh, and give all you guys at home who couldn't make it to E3 a chance to see what's what's up, basically. Right? Awesome. Well, let's jump in the walkthrough. All right. So here we are at the start of our E3 demo. Uh, the first thing you'll see is that the graphics look very good. Um, this is a Metal Gear Solid game. It's known for graphics. And uh, even though it was a PSP game, we spent a lot of time on the graphics. And now that we've ported it over to HD platforms such as the PS3 and Xbox 360, we spent a lot of time uh, remastering everything, redrawing a lot of the textures, and making sure all the geometry was rendered in really nice high-res HD. Uh, so the first thing you'll see is that I'm, you know, not running and gunning through this stage. Uh, for those who maybe haven't played Metal Gear for a while or have not played Peace Walker, uh, you know, Peace Walker is, you know, an official chapter in the Metal Gear Solid series, and there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Uh, obviously, the best way to get through a stage is to sneak through, and so that's what I'm going to do here. Just kind of sneak around. Uh, you'll notice that, uh, you know, from the button icon here, you'll see that we're playing the Xbox 360 version, as mentioned earlier. So that's one thing that separates this game apart from the PS3 remaster programs, where they're taking PSP games and putting it on the PS3. Uh, you know, for Peace Walker and for Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 as well, we've really taken, you know, the original classic Metal Gear games and brought them over ah. to the PS3 and 360 uh, and really optimized things. All right, another thing here that I'm going to point out is that I'm opening this guy, uh, which is that balloon thing you see right there. Uh, for those who haven't played Peace Walker, that's something new to Peace Walker, where you can actually recruit soldiers to your mother base and uh, you know, build your own army, basically. So, you know, you are Naked Snake, you are Big Boss, and you're kind of building your outer heaven. So that's what this game is all about. And so proceeding on here, uh, you'll notice as well that uh, the icons on the right side of the screen look very nice. Uh, we've redrawn all that, uh, you know, we've redone all the UI, we've redone all the text, all the fonts, everything. Uh, you'll notice the inventory as well, you know, we have a lot of the classic items, uh, binoculars, sound indicator, things like that. And all that plays a vital role in the gameplay. So here we are, you know, sound plays an integral part of, uh, of the gameplay here. We're using it to kind of distract this guy. And looking at our sound indicator, we can see, you know, where this guy's heading and what threats are around us. So I'll just go ahead and sneak up behind him. All right, there we go. And, uh, you know, Snake, of course, ah. those who don't know, he's a master of CQC, which is close quarters combat. And he can Start grab people like this, interrogate them. Uh, you know, there's a lot of strategy, and uh, you'll see from there that you can actually use the environment to your advantage as well. You know, if you throw an enemy into a wall, that'll knock them out faster, things like that. Uh, you know, Big Boss uh, has grown in the 10 years since Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Uh, he's much stronger now, a little more brutal. Uh, you know, he has new techniques. Uh, one new thing in here as well that, uh, well, I'm not going to show right now is also something called consecutive CQC, which you can use if you're in a pinch. If you're surrounded by a bunch of enemies, you can use that to get out of uh, a group of enemies and just kind of consecutively throw them. All right, so let's go ahead and get through here. You know, as usual, you know, the best way to get through a stage is sneaking. This is Metal Gear Solid after all. So we'll go ahead and get through here. <clears throat> and you'll notice from this load screen as well, you know, load times are, are fairly short. Um, we've been trying to keep it down, and the UI has been redone here as well. So the maps look really nice. Uh, all the icons have been redrawn. Alright, so we're getting close to the end of the stage here. Um, you know, as mentioned previously, the best way to get through the stage is to sneak. That's the most efficient way to do it. But, you know, there are people who want to run and gun. And also, it's inevitable that at some point, you're probably going to get spotted. So, another thing that I'd like to point out is how battle works. So, let's go ahead and run out here. And equip some guns. Alright, 
there we go. Uh, you'll see that the gameplay is pretty smooth. Um, you know, we've actually remapped the buttons on the PS3 and 360 version to take advantage of the right analog stick. So, whereas the PS3, you, know, you use the face buttons to control your camera, here you can use the right analog stick, which is similar to, uh, you know, Metal Solid 4, for those who are probably more accustomed to that style of gameplay, and uh, really, you know, like any other uh, modern, uh, you know, first-person shooter or third-person shooter. So it should feel natural to anyone, even newcomers to the Metal Gear Solid series. All right, so let's go to this door here, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the stage. So uh, that concludes our E3 house. demo. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, Sean, thank you for the look at the game. It looks incredible. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, to everybody at home, please look forward to the game. It's coming out this winter. It's part of the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. It'll include Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and Peace Walker. So I hope you all enjoyed this sneak peek today. And uh, yeah, we look forward to giving you more information in the future. Very cool. And in the meantime, stay tuned to Facebook.com slash MGS for more exclusive updates. We'll see you guys soon. Konami.